Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the return of Robato! Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the 4 Piece Variety of Wookie Triple XL. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing Aeronaut, the entry level thermal grizzly, versus Deepcool Z10, their entry level thermal paste. And we're going to be pitting these two up against each other between Ana64 and Cinebench, which are pretty much the best ways to load your CPU to 100% and try and burn it to the ground. For those of you who follow the channel, Z10 is our baseline performer. It's what I use on pretty much all of the cooling tests and stuff. I got a tube at Rage at some point and I just used it on something and I was like, damn, this stuff actually works pretty damn well. It's pretty good. Uh, they give you a pretty good little package out of the box and stuff as well. And a very, very attractive price at a whole hundred bucks for a five gram tube. It is cheap and cheerful to say the least. Enter its challenger. We're going to be putting it up against the Aeronaut, which comes similarly packaged. And what a nice little package it is. You get a little sticker and a spatula and a certificate of authenticity that you can verify that this is a Thermal Grizzly product, of, which is a, obviously a nice touch with uh, all of these copycat products coming out of uh, a certain uh, a country that we shan't name. So nice package, but does it cut the mustard? Well, let's get into the performance and testing then. So we're going to be using our test bench as per usual, 13600K, set the 220 watt in this instance. I think it's actually, I actually dropped it to 200. Uh, everything's at stock clocks once again. No more 5.4 gigahertz because in the actual fact, the 240 is a little bit under spec for this. Uh, this 240 included, even being H100 RGB, which is pretty damn good. Uh, yeah, it's just a little bit uh, under performing uh, compared to what we actually need for the CPU. So little caveat there, but it still is going to show us based on thermal throttling how well each chip performs. And it was a little bit warmer during these tests uh, than normal. So uh, the Ada 64 was practically a dead heat between the two chips. There's no real, any, no real variance between average clock speeds and temperatures and performance, etc. Except when we look at Cinebench, I tried this test four times over. Hell, I probably tried it even five times over to really give the Cryo or Aeronaut in this case the best, you know, I could give to it. And it just, just didn't step up to the plate, as it were. Um, I'll, I'll show you a little picture of my application over there. I do the, the central P, the big P in the middle, and I, I always supply thermal paste like that. So it, there will be no real difference between the two. One thing I noticed about the Aeronaut when I was applying it though, as you'll see on your screens now, it's a little bit on the watery side. It means there's not many solids and solubles in the silicon for it to transfer heat, which is why I think it's lacking in performance compared to the Z10. So the Z10 ultimately wins this row battle. Between the two, it's a no-brainer. It costs 50, 60 rand less per tube, and it's going to give you better performance. Just Guaranteed. I also got that Cinnamon score right after doing the ADA. So I did the ADA and smashed it. I switched this machine off, came back to it later in the day, and it still couldn't run as fast as the Z10 thermal paste. So Z10, uh, I think, unequivocally, is winning over here right now. Now they also do EX750, and we also have Cryonaut from Thermal Grizzly. So we're probably going to be hitting those two up right after I pilfer uh, an LS 720 from the deep cool stock. Then we should have more than enough cooling in order to test performance and wattage and actually see if the thermal paste results in better performance. In this case it did, uh, if not kind of bottleneck behind a cooler that's not really specced for a 13600K. Anywho, if you guys have enjoyed this road battle, please do let me know in the comments down below if there's any two products you'd like to see road battle it out against each other. We'll do our best to get it out for you on the eTech YouTube channel. Until then, hope you guys stay safe, keep well, and I will see you on the flip side. <laughs>